When people think USB, they usually think of this kind of cable, which was released in 1996. With numbers like USB 2, 3, and 4 flying around, and letters like A, B, and C, it can all get really confusing. Let's start with a brief summary of what USB is. Letters versus numbers. Letters have to do with the shape of the connector. So we've got USB A, which David just showed you. We've got USB B, think printers. And then we've got USB C, which is the smaller one. And this is the one that makes people angry because they have to buy dongles to work with the older USB A devices. Which cable is 80 times faster? I don't know. This one or this one? I would guess the bigger one is 80 times better. <laughs> That's right. It's 80 times faster. But I didn't know that when I bought the other one on Amazon.com. I went on Amazon and I said, okay, I need a USB-C cable because I want to transfer videos directly from the camera to the computer. I bought two of these Amazon cables, plugged them in, and everything was dirt slow because even though it's a USB-C cable, it's USB 2.0. So let's talk about what the numbers mean. Numbers have to do with speed. USB 1 came out in 1996, 12 megabits per second. One of the things that can get confusing here is that when we talk about speeds, we're talking about bits, megabits, gigabits. When we're talking about files, we're talking about bytes. So megabytes, gigabytes. So we're gonna do the math in just a minute. To make it easier, we're gonna deal with bytes because that's kind of the real world file size transfer speed stuff. USB 2 came out in 2000, 480 megabits per second, and USB 4, also known as Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4, came out in 2019 and it's 40 gigabits per second. Fast. Is USB 4 better than USB 1? Yes, because it's much faster. Much faster. Much faster. First confusing point, USB-C, especially USB-C, just because they look exactly the same doesn't mean that they're anywhere close in terms of data transfer speeds. This one, 480 megabits per second max. This one, 40 gigabits or 40,000 megabits per second fast. You can buy them both on Amazon and they're both USB-C. USB 1, 12 megabits per second. You take that 12 number and you divide it by eight. And so it's one and a half megabytes per second. You take the bit number, you divide it by eight, and then you get the bytes because there's eight bits in a byte. USB 2, is actually 60 megabytes per second. USB 4 slash Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, five gigabytes per second. We already talked about how I felt ripped off a few months ago and I didn't realize I was buying a USB 2 cable and not a USB 3, which is what I wanted. But I have a real gripe here with Apple and it has to do with the iPhone 13 Pro. Let's take that out. It was released this year, 2021. My Mac was released this year. USB 4, yep. 40 gigabits per second. iPad Pros released in 2021, USB 4, 40 gigabit per second transfer speed. iPhone 13 Pro released in 2021, USB 4, nope. USB 2, same for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And the issue here is Apple is talking a lot about ProRes video on the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, made that a big selling point. But when you go to transfer those gigantic video files to your computer, they're just, they're very slow. Right, it can take Forever. So in the iPhone settings app, it says under Apple ProRes, show camera controls for ProRes. ProRes is one of the most popular formats for video professional post-production. A minute of 10-bit HDR ProRes is approximately 1.7 gigabytes for HD and 6 gigabytes for 4K. That's one minute. Right. One minute, 6 gigabytes. How fast does the iPhone transfer data from the phone to the computer USB 2.0 speeds? 60 megabytes per second. Pretty simple math. 100 seconds to transfer one minute of video from an iPhone to a Mac. And that's the optimal speed. It's, right. If it's not perfect, and it, it usually, isn't. usually never yep. is, it's gonna be longer than that. We're gonna do kind of a real world test. Imagine that you're a videographer, you've just taken a video that is an hour long. How long is that gonna take? We're gonna transfer a one minute video that David just took with his iPhone to his computer. I'm gonna set my watch, All right. stopwatch. Let me just pull the right cable off the cable tree here. Okay, plug that in. Stopwatch. You ready to do this, David? Click on my file, I'll click download and start the timer at the same time. Three, two, one, go. It was slightly long, it was a few seconds over one minute and we have a slightly larger than six gigabyte file, so that kind of checks out. That does make sense. This should take 100 seconds exactly. It, well, yeah. Maybe a little bit more, 100 and, 105 seconds maybe. While this is going, I think one of the reasons why I really don't like this is that Apple pitches this as like a pro phone. Mm -hmm. This is a phone that they show pro videographers using, but. Well, imagine if you'd taken like a 30 minute video or an hour long video and it would just, it would be right. very difficult. Ridiculous. And we should also say like, when you go into the camera app with ProRes on, it'll say how much time is left that you can actually record. And for me, it's 32 minutes. Right. So I couldn't even record a 
feature length film on my iPhone if I wanted to. Well, you know, you should have got the one terabyte. I version. should have got the you one. Should have done, you know? Yeah, I think I would have. If I'm a professional videographer, I'm probably opting for something different. Probably. Okay, we're at 150. Right, it was supposed to take a minute and 40 seconds, 100 seconds. Uh, maybe a few seconds longer than that if it was totally ideal conditions. Oh boy, we're over two minutes, wow. Yeah, I think that usually it's about one third slower than max speed. Yeah, 215-ish. And uh, we just hit 215, and it's still not done. Later. All there right, we go. we it's got done. It. We'll say 233-ish. How many seconds is that, David? So if one minute takes two minutes and 36 seconds to transfer, then an hour long movie is gonna take two hours and 36 minutes to transfer. Most professional filmmakers do not wanna to have to wait that long. The frustrating thing is that Apple could, if they wanted to, build an USB 3 to the iPhone lightning port, but they're just not doing it. Right, and they did it when they built the USB 3 SD card to lightning adapter for the iPad Pro, like one iPad Pro. So the lightning port can handle USB 3, which is 10 times faster than USB 2. We don't expect you know, full USB 4 maybe. I mean, that's that'd be nice, but not necessarily yeah. totally you know, necessary, but USB 2 is ridiculous that we're still transferring at this speed. It was technology that was invented in the year 2000. Y2K. Video files are huge. When we do a recording session, we usually end up recording with three different cameras, at least an hour per camera, so three hours. That would take seven hours to transfer if we were using iPhone 13 Pros to even start to be able to edit the videos. That's insane. It's a lot. Yeah. Video transfer speeds are slow. It still takes us an hour to import everything, but I wouldn't want to have to wait until tomorrow just to start video editing, and they didn't mention that in their commercials. Of course not, and especially for us too, some of the things are time sensitive, so. Right, they can't do yeah. it, can't course, afford to well, do it. Well, of course they also didn't mention it in the video. Yeah, they wouldn't say, oh I, yeah. I also don't think they mentioned that ProRes video isn't available in the 128 gigabyte variants of the uh, right. iPhone it, 13 well, Pro and Pro Max. Yeah, but I mean, okay, so 128 gigabyte phone, let's assume that, you know, 10 of that is the operating system. How many minutes are you gonna get out of that? Not about very 20. many. About yeah. 20, yeah, about 20 minutes, six gigabytes a minute, 120 gigabytes. That's not enough time to take a movie. And even David's phone, like he said, he's got 33 minutes left. Yeah. If Apple had simply used the latest technology, the same technology that's available in the Mac and the iPad Pro, video transfer times would be 80 times faster. And maybe the iPhone 13 Pro would actually be, for pros, maybe not called the iPhone 13 slow. You could at least, you know, shoot a pilot on the iPhone 13 Pro, never right. a movie. How do you feel about this? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you'd like to join all these great people who are on your screen right now, click that join button below the video, become a channel member today. It's really the best way to help us out. Right, we love our channel members. And also, if you haven't given this video a like, do us that favor because it helps us get our video out to more people and just makes the YouTube algorithm gods happy. Thanks for watching.